at polling locations. But here in Detroit, a coalition has formed with the goal of ensuring people feel safe and also proud when they cast their votes tomorrow. Kim DiGiulio was there as they gathered at the Detroit Hispanic headquarters in Corktown. A coalition called Promote the Vote, consisting of leaders from various organizations around the state who work to encourage democracy, joined one day before the election to do just that. The biggest hurdle this group believes they will have to overcome this election is ensuring that the voter feels safe. Our organization, as well as a number of community partners, you know, have, you know, not only will have people placed at the polls to uh, monitor and prevent uh, voter intimidation, they're going to be observers. But we're also working, you know, behind the scenes to make sure that, you know, some of the systematic issues that, that create intimidation, that create uh, disinformation, uh, you know, are eliminated. Brandon Snyder, executive director at Detroit Action, works year round to make sure working class Detroiters of color make their voices heard. Our work is really about making sure that the barriers to being able to engage in the civic process are eliminated, that elections are free and fair for all. Thanks to donations, Detroit Action was able to hire more help around the state this election to eliminate voter intimidation. However, Brandon wants people to be aware of what to do if you see or experience voter intimidation or harassment. If you call 1-866-OUR-VOTE, you'll be able to report that to the uh, Election Protection Hotline. It's a state hotline that is being run by volunteers across this state to get information on election interference and intimidation. They're going to not only monitor this situation, but they'll send folks out to be able to work with you, maybe the clerk's office, maybe law enforcement, whoever needs to be able to be there to handle the situation. But Brandon and the other members of Promote the Vote hope the hard work they've done since last election will ensure a safe, fair election and people will feel pride when they cast their votes. And trusting that it not only is a fair process, but also trusting that, you know, the will of the people decided the outcomes. Now, if you haven't registered to vote yet, you can do so tomorrow in person. And if you still have your absentee ballot, you can no longer mail it in. You need to drop it off at one of these boxes. This is an official drop box to find your location. You can visit michigandropbox.com. The deadline to do that is tomorrow at 8 p.m. In Detroit, I'm Kim DiGiulio, Local 4.